Hello everyone, Weed Witch here once again with a super, super slick video for you guys today. I am excited for this one because it involves dyeing my hair and I love dyeing my hair. I've been dyeing my hair since I was 11, 12 years old and I haven't had it brown since. I've had it blonde, I've had it green, blue, purple, black, orange, yellow, whatever. You know, I've had it every single color, but of course my go-to color is always red. So I'm sure you guys can see right now this little bits of blonde here, you probably don't recognize. I should say orange. It's not blonde, it's orange. But um, I'm actually going to throw a clip in right now to um, earlier this morning before I did this bleach. This video is going to jump around a little bit like I said, you guys. But this is Thursday morning. Um, I clearly just woke up. My eyes are pretty damn swollen right now. But this is just to show you guys. My hair before any dye, any bleaching, any anything this morning. Um, so yeah, there's a little bit of purple or reddish tint to it, but mostly just showing you guys right here, which um, by the time you guys are seeing this, I'm already blind right here and right here. So here's that before. So yeah, that's what it looked like before. I think I'm a little more myself now. Um, <laughs> for anyone that's watching that grew up with me, all through middle school and high school, I always had, for whatever reason, blonde strips on the side of my head. It was just my go-to look. It was fucking, it was totally me. And I'm back to my roots. I'm feeling good about it. But they're pretty orange. So I didn't expect to have to do this because I thought I was going to be fine with orange. But it turned out a little bit patchy. I don't know if you guys can tell. I missed the spot right here on both sides somehow. But I'm sure you can hear my dog squeaking in the background. Sorry. <laughs> But it's a little patchy, so I'm going to do another layer of bleach just to kind of even it out and lighten it up a little bit. Um, before growing up with these blonde patches, what I would do is I would actually dye the rest of my hair, all of my hair except the blonde, so it would really pop. I would have like deep, deep, dark red hair and white, white blonde in the front, and it would end up turning pink from, you know, transfer dye every time. But today's going to be different. Um... One, I did this because it's been a long time since I had my blonde strips, so I really wanted to go back and try it again. And two, because I'm not going to be leaving them blonde, I'm going to be dyeing my hair today. I'm sure you guys can tell by the name of this video, I should have mentioned this first thing, but I'm going to be comparing um, Manic Panic to Arctic Fox today. So I want to tell you guys, first of all... Um, that's why I did the blonde. So not only can you see how it reacts to this brown hair, this ombre look on top of a uh, pretty purplish type of dye. So we're going to see how it works with that. And we're also going to see how it works with blonde because that's the best way to do it. And I know a lot of people that are using per semi-permanent dyes are using it on lighter to blonde hair anyways. So that'll be a really cool thing because brown hair is pretty forgiving. Dark hair is pretty forgiving with these kind of dyes. Um, blonde hair not so much you can really see the patchiness or the not so full coverage and the vibrancy a lot better on blonde so that's a big big reason why I'm doing that today but anyways like I said I'm actually gonna slap on another layer of blonde just to even it up and lighten it up a little bit so let's take a big fat bong rip and we're gonna start bleaching and then dyeing <sighs> So, like I said before, you guys, yada, 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 bleaching and dyeing. But with the Manic Panic and the Arctic Fox, I will be splitting my hair directly down the middle and really literally just putting um, the red dye on each side of my hair. Manic Panic's Wildfire is what we're going to be using today, as well as Arctic Fox's Poison. So, I do have to say I have used both of these products before, but you can't really tell a definitive difference unless they're really you know side by side at the same time um I didn't you know I really was trying to go off memory and photos and color tabs to try to match these colors up the best that I can so there's no promises they will be the exact same color I'm really fucking hoping they are but if they're not I'm not gonna explode about it um we're mostly just trying to see um, how long this dye lasts, you know, like how many washes, how vibrant it is, how unpatchy or how patchy it is, um, application process, yada, 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 price, and so on and so forth. All right, you guys, so I have my hair as separated as possible. Um, you can really tell how orange it is right now. 
even with the second bleaching, I'm not expecting, or, or excuse me, expecting it to be super be bleach blonde, white blonde. It's probably still going to be pretty orange or yellow, but I'm really just trying to get this patchiness out. Um, definitely these two little brown thumbprints on the side of my head. Anyways, you guys, let's just do this. So I'm trying not to get too close up to the roots because it's pretty blonde already. And so we're not stuck here all day, you guys. I'm just going to do the other side and come back to you. All right, you guys. So step one is done. I know I'm probably looking a little wacky right now. Um, I'm going to let this sit for a good 10, 15 minutes. And I'll be back with you guys when I've washed it out and it's dried. And we will jump right into this half and half. Um, Arctic Fox versus Manic Panic. I'm not sure which side I'm going to put which product on yet. But, yeah, anyways, let's take a bong rip. <laughs> Hoping for the best results possible. Alright, you guys, so I will see you when the bleach product is washed out of my hair and it is dried. And we'll get right into it. Alright, you guys, so we are back and we are... A little less patchy, still pretty orange. I don't have the little brown marks on the side of my head, which was practically why I was going through a second time in bleaching. A um, little more evened out, you guys. So yeah, like I said before, let's just split our hair in half. I decided, I decided we're going to do Manic Panic on my right side and Arctic Fox on my left. No specific reasoning for it. Um, I did grow up using Manic Panic. I want to be honest. I have used Manic Panic a lot more than I've used Arctic Fox. I believe in one of my past videos I did use Arctic Fox. And I think it was my first time. And I don't know. I have um, I have my own little review already on both of them on their own. They're both great, beautiful products. They both do what they're supposed to do. Um, but as far as head-to-head -head on exact colors and this and that, blah, 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 that's what we're going to be doing today because it's easy to say, wow, this color's awesome, this color's cool, but which one really truly is better, lasts longer, looks better, this and that. I know I'm really, really just rambling right now, but I'm trying to explain what's going through my head about this. You guys, let's say Barbara. <laughs> So pretty much um, to the point, I grew up using Manic Panic, never really heard of Arctic Fox, so I have a strong review on Manic Panic because I've used it so much. Arctic Fox, not so much, but as far as I've used it, um, once or twice already, once maybe, um, I, had, I had a good time with it. But anyways, like I said, let's just do this. I'm going to take my hair down. Now my hair looks really dark compared to this blonde, but... <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to brush out. My hair's going to look crazy, you guys. All brushed out these curls. So look at this. I'm going to brush it out, split it up, and we'll be back. All right, as promised, you guys, my hair gets a little crazy when it's brushed out. But we're just going to split it down the middle, like I've said 100,000 times already, and start dyeing it. Manic Panic on the right and Arctic Fox on the left. All right, you guys, so it's probably not the best split in the world, but it'll do for now. Um, like I said before, I'm going to be doing Manic Panic on this side, Artifacts on this side. I'm going to be starting with the Manic Panic on the right side of my head. I got this slick ass, uh, cool, I don't know how many pieces are here, like a million. The clips I was using earlier from it, I think I got this off Amazon, guys. So, bunch of brushes, got some bowls, I'm freaking locked and loaded. If you've seen any of my past videos, I literally just use whatever I have available, but this time I'm taking it pretty seriously, you guys. So, like I said, I'm going to be starting with the meaning panic on the right side of my head. I'm going to start by putting the product in my mixing bowl, get my gloves on, um, I don't know, get all this cool other, I don't know if I'll do this one, but anyways, <laughs> let's take a big bong rip and start. All right, you guys, let's do this. Wow, I'm going to have to show you guys these two reds. They're both fucking beautiful, but they don't exactly look the same. All right, you guys, so here is our two colors. And just looking at them, 
you can see there's some difference here. This one is um, looking a little deeper. They're both extremely vibrant red. But this one is a little more boom, right in your fucking face red. This is a little more blood red. This is more candy red. Either way, let's just do this. All right, you guys. So I'm starting with the Manic Panic side. I'm going to split this one part into two. Fold up this front and start working in the back with our Manic Panic wildfire. I'm no professional. I should probably say that while it's extremely obvious. <laughs> so the smell to this wildfire is kind of weird. I do not dig it, to be honest. Manic Panic. Usually, if I recall, your product had like a good sweet smell, blah, blah, blah. Good stuff, but this, mm, it literally smells like, maybe it's the gloves I'm wearing or something, but it kind of smells like burnt rubber. I don't know. <laughs> like I said before, guys, I'm not a professional, and I'm really not trying to go too deep with this um, dye or anything. I'm mostly depending on the blonde strips to really show us most of what this product can do, but um, also to show you guys what's going on with the brown hair, how this product works on that blah 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 but I, that's why I'm just kind of lazily applying it to the brown parts of my hair but trust me I'll take the blonde seriously holy shit okay so clearly this wildfire is gonna be pretty dang vibrant red as you guys can already tell like I said a million times before this is the manic panic wildfire I'm just now applying it to this blonde and it is just I mean night and day compared to the brown uh, this is wildfire on the manic panic side of my head you guys so the red is looking pretty damn vibrant bright beautiful red and this blonde i can't even explain it. this is the like most pepperminty brightest bright bright red i think i've ever seen on myself anyways <laughs> on to the next All right, you guys, so I'm going to slap on some gloves um, and start the Arctic Fox Poison. You guys, I'm super excited about this one. This was the color that was a little extra vibrant than the other one. One second. Okay, so yes, this is the one that looks a little more vibrant on, or in the bowl, excuse me. Anyways, we'll see how it looks on the hair. Clearly, like I said, like night and day, you can tell the product on the blonde from the brown. And anyway, <laughs> let's just do this. Now the smell of this product. Oh my God. That's, oops, excuse me. That's literally something I could smell all day, every day for the rest of my life. It, I can't, you know, really put my finger on it. It's got its own smell. Oh my God, but it's so good. Floral, candly, I don't know. Good. It's very, very good smell. So immediately, ooh, this one looks a little thicker red, if that makes any sense. Not necessarily darker, but just a bolder red. So this is about as covered as it's going to get, you guys. Super slick. Um, I'm at weird angles here. Okay, so let's get a close-up of this. And Manny Panics. So you can tell this one's almost like a fady kind of pinky red, and this one's just boom, thick, thick <laughs> red. So anyways, I'm going to undo this second half, cover it up, and I'll come back to you guys. Okay, so one last look. This is the Arctic Fox Poison. And this is the Manic Panic Wildfire. So I'm going to let these products sit in my hair for a good hour, maybe an hour and a half. You know, I really like my color to penetrate. But I want to say a couple things about the products. Um, and that is they are both, of course, vegan and cruelty free, which is badass. And mostly in the hair community, I would believe that all of the hair community can respect that. That would be super slick. <laughs> um, but as far as I know, they both rock that same fucking priority. So that's cool. Um... 
Manic Panic, I believe, can range from about 14, 15 bucks for a four ounce. And Arctic Fox actually, I think goes for about 11, 10.99, 11 or 12 bucks for a four ounce. So there is a dollar or two difference there, which isn't too extreme or anything. But if you're really penny pinching, Arctic Fox is a little bit cheaper. Um, Manic Panic's been around for a long time. I don't know how long Arctic Fox has been around. Um, that's a Google question. <laughs> but like I said, I've known Manic Panic forever. Arctic Fox recently popped up and I've been using them. This is all about comparing and both products I want to say are awesome. Like I said, I used them both previously in the past. So yeah, they're both really, really good products. Um, like I said, there's a dollar, couple dollar difference there. But so far, um, Manic Panic smell was a little off. Arctic Fox smell was, I mean, over on point. Um, application process was pretty much the same. Both really nice creams. Really easy, applicable, excuse me. I think I need another ball rip. But they're really both easy to apply. Um, I can't really tell of any patchiness. All I can see right now is that my skin is really going to be dyed. You guys can clearly see, just looking at it, this is a lot brighter red over here than this is. Either way, we're just looking for red colors. So, throughout these updates, don't judge my hair on maybe being two different color reds. Judge it on the tone of color. Like, okay, so pretty much what I'm going for, what they both advertised was a nice, deep, vibrant red. This is why I'm getting a little concerned over here. Because this looks a little more like a neon red compared to this being that nice, deep, vibrant red. But either way, um, <laughs> the length of how long it lasts, how many washes, blah, blah, blah. I have a perm, so I know a lot of products can actually weigh that down. So maybe one side of my hair could be a little curlier than the other side, depending on whatever, the weight of the product that sticks to my hair, blah, blah, blah. We will go together along the way and pretty much go over everything together as it goes on. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to let this sit for a good hour, hour and a half and munch and crunch and hit this bong again and i will see you guys when my hair is all washed and how red my hair is <laughs> i'll see you guys <laughs> When my hair is dry and hopefully not too extremely different colors but yeah so I'm back just real quick I just washed this out of my hair it's getting a little late so I'm just gonna quick show you guys what I have right now and then tomorrow we'll come back when my hair is dry and styled and really really show you guys what's going on here because right now since the brown is so dark when it's wet you can't really tell all too crazy with that but the blonde like I said the brown is very forgiving Blonde, not so much. <clears throat> so, I just want to show you guys, clearly, Wildfire Manic Panic is a lot brighter, more vibrant, vibrant, excuse me, and actually a little bit orangey kind of tint. I don't know. Um, and then we have our poison here on the side, the Arctic Fox, which is a little bit more exactly what I was going for and what I was looking for. Um, I'm going to drop two tabs of what was advertised right now. So right now I'm going to show you what was advertised as Manic Panic's Poison. And this is what's advertised for Arctic Fox's Poison. So, um, honestly... For the color I was going for, it's somewhere in between these two. It's more or less this one. If you look up close, you guys can really see how... I can't tell if it's like just orange or that neon, neon red. Either way, they both are really, really nice. But like I said, with the advertised colors... Um, I'm going to see if I can actually do a side-by-side. -side. This was the wildfire. <laughs> and this was the poison. So, what was advertised was not exactly given to me, more or less given to me with the Arctic Fox, not so much with this Manny Panic. Um, I'm not really recognizing any crazy amount of patchiness so far, but like I said, my hair's still pretty, pretty wet. Um, the brown should be, like I've said a million times, and I'll probably say it again, 
should be pretty forgiving, but these two front blonde colors are going to be pretty, um, hello, I'm different, but they're both really badass colors. I got a little bit more skin staining here with the Manic Panic, so I do want to say that I'll put in a bunch of different stuff at the end, like pros and cons and stuff, but I don't know, you guys. So far, I'm a little bit leaning towards this Arctic Fox. It's a lot deeper color. It looks like it's stuck more. Washing this out, um, I feel like I lost a lot of color. I don't know. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we are back, and my hair is styled. For the most part, it's styled and dried, so you can really see the results. Um, so clearly, right now, just looking at it um, with all this brown, there's really no difference in red. Maybe there is, but I haven't noticed it yet. <laughs> but um, looking at the two sides as a whole, in the darker areas, no difference whatsoever. But this blonde, before, like I said, when it was still wet, you could definitely tell that this side was a little bit lighter than this other side. Um, I'm actually going to throw in a clip right now of me earlier today at work. The lighting in the bathroom was like totally kick-ass, so you can really, really tell the difference between these two colors. So I'm actually at work right now. I'm in the bathroom. I had to quick pull out my phone because the lighting in here is really, really good. And I think you guys are going to be able to really see where the different um, vibrancies and tones of red really come in here. And that is with this wildfire. We really do have like an orangey red compared to, whoop, over here, this poison from Arctic Fox, which is that just deep, I mean, match my lipstick red. But yeah, um, for the most part, I can't really tell a huge difference with the brown, um, except on the ends where it's a little blonder on this side, you can tell this almost looks like one solid deep red, and this over here has that nice deep red, but really lightening up in the blonde in the bottom of my hair, as well as, of course, the blonde blonde strips that I put in my hair the other day. Um, that's where you can really, really tell the difference, you guys. So, even though it's still a total kick-ass look, like I totally hit this look, but um, not exactly what I was looking for. So if you put these two colors together, they are actually the same color as advertised. And when you put these two colors in your hair, on brown and blonde hair, um, neither of them actually super, super hit that advertised color. To be completely honest, the advertised color would be somewhere between this bright orangey red and this deep red. So maybe mixing them <laughs> would even get me that perfect color I was looking for. But... This isn't really about that perfect color, although they are not matching. I'm just I'm just throwing that out there that they were advertised as the same color. I didn't really get that. Um, but this is also mostly about uh, how many washes they last, um, how it weighs down my perm, if it even does that at all. So far, I haven't um, really noticed much of that, so that's pretty good. But yeah, there's a lot of different things we're going to be looking at. All right, to keep it short, woo, simple and sweet, what we're going to be looking for here long term, because a few things that we've already discovered is they are both creamy and easy to apply. Um, Manic Panic smells a little funky. Arctic Fox smells good, so Arctic Fox, you already got a point for me. Um, skin dyeing, uh, I feel like I literally was scrubbing this ear this morning, and it's still pretty pink. This one, nothing. So Manic Panic sticks to my skin a little bit more than Arctic Fox. So that's another ding for Arctic Fox, but that could also mean that it just is um, a better dye, that it holds up better in your hair. It dyes your skin better <laughs> than the other product. It should dye your hair better, but that's not always the case. So we already know those things. Um, now what I'm pretty much just going to be monitoring is how many washes it takes for this product to, um, to come out. Oh, also an Arctic Fox is a couple bucks cheaper than Manic Panic. I think, or it's the other way around. I can't remember. Either way, I said it earlier. <laughs> Go back and check. I'm a little stoned. But I'm just going to flip around so you guys can actually see the back of my hair right now. Because as you know, I split my hair right down the middle to do this. And I'm mostly just asking you guys and kind of checking for myself to see, is there really a big difference on brown hair? Because the blonde is very, very significant. But the brown... I don't think, like I said a million times, brown is very forgiving, blonde not so much, um, patchiness was also a big thing, 
And so far, blonde is like the only place I'm really going to be able to tell with patchiness. I see really solid, solid overall color with both products. So, um, yeah, I'm going to take a couple more bong rips. And the next time you'll probably see me is after my first or second wash. Um, I'm just going to keep you guys updated with how much the color fades. You'll see me after the first wash and see really what goes on with all this. Excuse me, guys. Let's take a rip. Okay, so looking back on that clip I just did of my hair, you can clearly tell that this side here is a little bit lighter than this side over here. Like I said, this Manic Panic Wildfire really carries more of an orangey tint, more than a red passiony tint like I was going for. And this is just straight red, like I compared earlier to my lipstick. Um, the color advertised, I can't explain it any other better way than it is a perfect clash between this really vibrant red and this almost orangey neon red. If we had that in between, it'd be perfect. I'm not too concerned about the different colors. I'm just like, you guys know, they aren't exactly the same color. So with the fading process, do remember, um, this side was a little bit lighter to begin with. I'm going to actually do a whole thing. I'm actually just going to take some pictures right now. <laughs> a whole thing. I'm going to take some pictures and show you guys this side and this side. So yeah, the colors are pretty different, but the root of this whole video is really to see which product is better. And at this point, I'm mostly looking at what is more long lasting, can withstand the shampooing the longest. So the next time you guys will see me will be after my first shamp and condition. See you then. All right, you guys. So I am back after my first shampooing and conditioning. And I do have to say, I see some major differences now. So with um, that first initial layer of just it being dyed, there was a really deeper color on this side. But now with that first wash, almost all of it is this really vibrant red, except for the blonde, which I'll talk about in a second. But this side, honestly, I believe it pretty much retained its color completely including in the blonde. Um, I may have lost a quarter shade, maybe, um, but as far as I'm concerned, it's pretty much the same color. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do a side-by-side -side of what the blonde strip looked like before and what it looks like now. So, yeah, um, this side over here, it is very, very vibrant. I absolutely love this color. It's insane. It's incredible. It's very in-your-face, but... After this first wash, I noticed it is very vibrant red still, but it's almost like a very deep orangey tint. I don't know how well you guys can see that in this lighting, but so I've already lost a big chunk of color there. It's more along compared to the side. It's clearly still red, but compared to the side, it's more of an orangey color, which was not exactly advertised. But um, this is only the first wash. We have many more washes to go. So the next time you guys will see me, I'll be on my second wash. This is just an update on this wash right now. I'm going to go ahead and show you the back of my hair as well, a whole roundabout. And we'll see you next time. All right, you guys, so I'm back with another awesome update on my hair. So as you saw in that last shitty little clip I had for you, um, that was the second time I washed my hair. It has been officially seven days um, since I dyed my hair. I did use Redken's care, oh, excuse me. I use Redken's Clarifying Shampoo, and um, it's not crazy, crazy on color lift up, but it is... Um, as lifting, if not maybe a little bit more lifting than regular shampoo. I know I'm just kind of rambling. But um, it was just kind of a test to see if it really took any of the color out. And to be completely honest, um, I'm kind of back and forth. Sometimes I'm like, oh, it totally did. And then I'm like, oh, maybe not. Um, as you can see over here, of course, we're going back to our blonde sh our strips. Um, it's very orange now. It's not so red. It's pretty much just orange so that's okay but it's not what i wanted i'm fine with it but 
That's not what I was advertised at all, Manic Panic. And over here on the Arctic Fox side, I still have a nice, vibrant red. So, nothing crazy. I can't really tell a big difference, but it seems to have lost a shade or two of red. Nothing crazy. What I would expect, especially using clarifying shampoo. Um, I'm going to do a whole roundabout for you guys right now. So, no huge, huge differences yet. Like I said, I've literally only washed it twice so far, so there shouldn't be any crazy concerning differences, except over here. <sighs> I don't know, guys. <laughs> I will just keep updating you guys so far. Like I said, the brown seems to be holding up pretty well with the red, but this blonde strip here is totally in 100% completely orange. Which is a super bummer, but <laughs> whatever, whatever, you guys. It still looks good. It still looks great. I'm a little disappointed in Manic Panic right now, which, um, <laughs> um, I, like I said before, I've used for years. They're a little bit more expensive. They do have a lot more variety of colors. I meant to mention that earlier. Maybe I did. But Manic Panic has probably 20 colors or more, 20 plus colors. Arctic Fox really only has, I think, 10, maybe 15 colors tops. So there is a big difference there with the amount of colors that they do sell. But what really matters, it doesn't really matter with all the crazy, crazy colors, because you can mix and match and make your own colors with different colors, blah, 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 this and that. It really does, at least to me, matter with what I'm paying, how long it lasts, and um, am I getting what I paid for. So, so far, I am kind of weaning towards the Arctic Fox side. It looks like, I've, I know I'm going on a, I'm going off right now. Um, like I said, it's only the second wash, but already the fact that this turned totally orange is kind of concerning it makes me think within the next two or three washes it may be yellow or <laughs> either way you guys i will keep you updated and i'll send little clips every time i wash my hair and a little update i probably won't babble as much as this but yeah if you want to see full 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 results probably just skip to the end of this video um but yeah <laughs> all right you guys so i'm back with just another super quick update for you guys um super quick super quick because this is only my third wash and I'm pretty much just getting the same thing with each wash. Um, this side is staying <laughs> orange. It's turning a little bit more orange. Um, the rest of the hair is still pretty vibrant red. Sticking pretty well. Um, over here, the red strip, excuse me, the blonde strip is still very vibrant, beautiful red. Pretty much almost the exact color I was looking for. So that I'm really satisfied about. But I did want to bring up real quick, real quick. Um... My ends are losing a lot of color. Let me see if I can find exactly what I'm talking about here. So, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but it is... I don't know. Like, just compared to how red this is, how well, of course, the blonde is going to hold pigment a lot more, a lot better than um, the brown hair. But, if you compare the tips on this side, which is still very vibrant red, to these... Look at you guys so I don't know you know how I was rooting heavily for Arctic Fox I'm still like super in between almost kind of leaning towards them a little bit more but as of right now that's not great because even with this being like orangey and not exactly what I was going for at least the color is still there this is like washing out pretty damn good you guys I'm gonna go ahead and do just a quick look at each side I will see you guys on my fourth wash. Like I said, this is my third. I'll see you guys next time. And I guess we'll see how much more orange this gets and how much more faded my brown gets. <laughs> so just a really, really quick update for you guys. It is day 13. It has almost been two weeks since I dyed both sides of my hair with Manic Panic and Arctic Fox, you guys. Um, I believe this is my fourth wash. It, maybe my third. I can't really remember. <laughs> third or fourth wash. Um, and honestly, I was rooting for Arctic Fox, but right now, clearly, Manic Panic is just vibrant and vibing. This is turning almost that brownie, um, gross color. You can actually kind of see the purple that was behind the red that I originally started with was a super faded out purple. Um, but as far as the blonde strip goes, 
this blind strip, oh, let me see if I can get it out here. Um, this blind strip is still going strong. It's still very vibrant in that really nice red I was looking for. The ends are faded pretty damn good, you guys. Just like I said before with these ones, these have little to no color compared to the Manic Panic side. So, we're not even two weeks in and I'm already leaning towards Manic Panic. Anyways, I will see you guys next time when I am on my fourth or fifth wash, whatever wash I'll be on. At whatever point, you guys, keep watching. I am back after my fifth wash, and I think you can tell some major differences just as at, excuse me, at first glance of these two sides. And honestly, I am this close to just re dyeing my whole head with one of the products because, hello, clearly one of them is almost if not completely gone from the brown i mean like you okay guys this is the artist arctic fox side and it's totally fucked um the blonde strip if you have blonde hair you're probably still rocking it here's what it looks like right now um and almost pink a very very light pinky red which is what i would expect it to fade to but the brown is just completely gone and that would be fine with me i wouldn't even think twice about it if the other side of my hair done with a totally different product wasn't still vibrant red. So you guys can see um, this side is still vibrant red pretty much from root to tip. I mean, the brown is clearly not vibrant. By vibrant, I mean you can still tell it's red. This side, you can almost pretty much just see the purple that was there before I had dyed it red, which is crazy. Um, this side has pretty much stayed the same, I'd say, the past two washes, except maybe a tone difference. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and compare these two for you guys real quick. So here's this one. So they're both still doing pretty good, but you can definitely tell which one is holding its vibrancy. Um, to begin with, this one was always more vibrant because it had that like neon orange to it. But I don't know. Now this side is just brown and this side is red. I mean, come on now. Like I said, guys, this is Manic Panics um, Wildfire. This is Manic Panics Wildfire. And this is Arctic Fox's Poison. So we're going to continue this video until either this side is completely redless or I get fed up with it. But I want to let you guys know right now um, that I will be doing another review video because I know you can't just uh, take one color from each product and say, look how much better this product is than this other one. That's just <laughs> not very accurate information. So what I'm actually going to be doing next is trying these products again. And what I'm going to be using is Arctic Fox's Purple Rain. Sorry, <laughs> I have to read it. And I'm going to be using Manic Panic's Purple Haze. And i actually seen these two colors... Um, swatch next to each other online in person and they are they are <laughs> uh i'd say the same color at least as close as you can get with two totally different brands these should come out of my hair the exact same color unlike what this did because originally like you guys have seen since the beginning they weren't the same color but they both were red um even though they are different shades and different tones of red you can just very clearly see that it is gone from this side of my hair. It's mostly just that golden blondy brown and even some purple left. This side, like I said, I'll give you guys another great look at it. It's just rocking the red right now. It's just popping out. So, you know, <laughs> next time you see me, I will be on my sixth wash and we'll see where we're at then. But clearly right now for this video, I will say Manic Panic is totally rocking my socks off. Excuse me, even though it's not exactly the color that was advertised that I thought I was going to get. Um, it's lasting. So you know there's that. <laughs> but like I said guys. I will see you next wash. And check out my next video. Which will be comparing these two purples. To get a little bit more in depth. Because I'm telling you. I'm leaning towards Manic Panic today. But with this product. It could be Artifacts. I don't know. We'll see. <sighs> All right, you guys, so I finished my sixth wash just last night, um, and it is very clear which one won, <laughs> which one won this challenge, per se, 
and that would of course be Manic Panic, which honestly I wasn't expecting. Like I said, I've used Manic Panic for years and years and years, but Arctic Fox just has these crazy reviews. A couple of my personal friends told me Arctic Fox is way better. That's why I kind of did this review because I was like, you know what? Let's really see. And I was kind of thinking maybe they're right, but clearly for red, they are wrong. I mean, it is night and day just looking straight on right now. You guys, I am red on this side and I am colorless on this side. I have like a very small tint. I'm telling you if you, I wonder if you guys can really see what I'm seeing here. It's purple. It's the purple that I had on my hair before I dyed it red. So not only did this super fade out, but it like is completely gone from the brown. Um, I do still have quite a bit of color, I'd say, honestly, in the blonde strip. The ends are really, really faded. It's almost pinky in person. It's like a really faded, almost rose gold, a deep rose gold is what I would say. And then over here, I have some like weird yellowing, um, orangey fading. So both of them are fading, kind of weird. If I had to choose one color to pick to fade, it would be uh, a mix between the two. I can't, you know, I can't really say that for sure because neither of them are really the color I was going for. Um, but that's really not the point. What lasted longer? The product, of course, was Manic Panic. Um, like I said, I'm just all red over here. I don't think you can see any of the purple that was on there prior to poking through. Maybe a little bit here and there. Uh, well, realistically, this was split down the middle, so this was actually over here. I don't know, you guys. Um, Manic Panic, shout out. Hell yeah. Uh, Arctic Fox, shout out because I still have faith in you and I still will buy your products and I still will recommend you. Um... Manic Panic, like I said before, has more colors. Arctic Fox, I believe, is catching up. I see new colors every now and then. Uh, but yeah, for today, for this red challenge, Manic Panic totally, totally wins. Even though, I'm sure you get, this is just a nasty yellowing in the blonde there, which sucks. But yeah, so, although there is some color left in here, there is just so much color left in here, you guys. So, for this one, I'm going to have to say, Manic Panic, you guys. But, like I said earlier, you guys, um, if you stay tuned for my next video, I will be comparing these two colors, Arctic Fox's Purple Rain and Manic Panic's Purple Haze, which are swatched out, i seen, and I did it in person. I've already opened these bad boys up, and they seem to be, I mean, almost the exact same color, if not the exact same color. So that'll be a true, true test of color because like I said before, um, you can't really try one piece of a whole product and say theirs is better. You know, they have tons of colors. They have colors, this and that. So I'm at least going to be doing two, if not more. Red and purple are my go-to colors. I really don't go all crazy. I used to, but um, yeah, now just red and purple. So if you guys stay tuned. Like I said, I will be reviewing those two, and I'm very excited for those. So, um, Arctic Fox, you'll have another shot to impress me. If Arctic Fox ends up winning this next round, I'm going to have to do one more color because we got to figure out, I can't do one-to-one, -one, you know, I got I to gotta have that third option and figure out who's really the bomb, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, you guys, I'm about to take a fat bomb rib to end this video, and like I said, catch me around next time trying out Arctic Fox and Manic pa Panic blah, 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 in purples. That is a mouthful. <clears throat> Excuse me. And also, if you want, check out my art page. Always got super cool deals going on, and I do super awesome, unique acrylic pours. One of a kind. Um, I will do custom orders at no extra cost. We'll do whatever you want, whatever size you need. Colors, shape, blah, 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 this and that. So, yeah, you guys, check that out. Let's do this. All right, you guys. So, I wasn't really under any circumstances considering, like, filming past, I think, Wash 6 it was. But I just had to come back and show you what the fuck I'm talking about on why Manic Panic won so strongly. So this is actually after um, wash eight right now. Yesterday I did a protein treatment and I usually do them. 
with colored hair. I do protein treatments all the time, every couple weeks, every other month, stuff like that. And this is the manic panic side after the protein treatment. Um, I actually rinsed both sides separately just because of the way my head was positioned in the sink. And you guys, no color fallout over here. But, and I also use Afogee protein treatment, including Afogee conditioner. So what I was doing was rinsing off the conditioner, and you guys, this side was fine. And then I got to rinse in this side, the conditioner. Do you fucking see this difference? It's incredible. This is red red, and this is just my brown hair. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to show you how intensely of a difference it was after just one or two more washes. This is seriously incredible. I watched the red fall out of my hair in Arctic Fox while I was washing that protein treatment out. And then Manic Panic stayed true. You know what I'm saying? It stayed true. You see some pieces over here. Um, but those are actually meant to be over here. So you can really just tell, you guys, boom, boom.